31 seconds to go. On second down, Stroud. Six defensive backs in there for the Buccaneers. Stroud looking. Deep ball. Hold in. Take. Can they win it? Stroud to the end zone. Touchdown. Take Dell. Wow. That was one of the most impressive game-winning drives I've witnessed in a long time. And it was by a rookie quarterback. CJ Stroud has been everything we've expected and more this season. I'm sure a lot of you remember the pre-draft process where CJ Stroud scored very low on the NFL's S2 cognition test, which is a replacement for the Wonderlick. Everyone was clowning him. The memes were out of hand. But CJ responded to these comments by saying, I'm not a test taker. I play football. And now that we're nine weeks into the season, it's safe to say CJ Stroud is pretty damn good at playing football. Going into this season, the Texans were a young team with a second-year head coach with low expectations. Their over-under win total was 6, but through 9 weeks, the Texans sit at 4-4 four and four with a clear answer at QB for the foreseeable future. Now let's get into the stats from Stroud. Now as you can see, there's been some great games, there's been some below-average games, but one number stands out in these stats. That one interception. Usually rookie quarterbacks are very turnover-prone and they struggle with that in their first season as a starter. But that's obviously not the case for Stroud. He broke the record for most pass attempts without an interception to start a career in Week 5, breaking Dak Prescott's previous record of 176 attempts. Now let's get back to yesterday's performance against the Bucks. Stroud had yet to have that one performance that really stands out and lets people know who he is. But that all changed yesterday. Stroud balled out with 470 yards and 5 touchdowns, breaking the rookie record for yards in a game and tying the record for passing touchdowns in a game by a rookie. The Bucks' defense simply had no answer for Stroud all day. He got whatever he wanted, carving up their zone schemes and making pinpoint accurate throws to his guys. Unfortunately for Stroud, his defense could not get a stop all day, which forced him to be put in position where he had to win the game with 46 seconds and two timeouts from their own 25. How does he respond? By going 5 for 5 for 75 yards and throwing an absolute dime to tank Dell in the middle of two defenders to win the game with six seconds left. Cold blooded. On a side note, how about that tank Dell to CJ Stroud connection this season? They've connected 28 times for 454 yards and four touchdowns. Not too shabby for a guy drafted in the third round. This performance from Stroud should have Texans fans around the world excited for the future. If they can figure it out on the defensive side of the ball, they'll be a scary young team in the years to come. Thank you all for watching. Do you think CJ Stroud can lead the Texans to a wild card berth this season? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.